I just created this simple scene uh, with three cubes. Each cube has uh, different colors, so full red, full green and full uh, blue because I want to implement uh, mouse picking functionality based on colors. So first of all, we need to know uh, the cursor position on our screen. So I'm going to define a function called cursor position callback. Yeah window object, the x position and the y position position. Okay, now just let's print out the x pose and the y pose. And in order to call this cursor position callback here, I'm going to set it. So glfw dot set underscore cursor position callback and the window and the uh, cursor position callback. So as you see now it prints out the position of the cursor on the screen so now we have its position now let's create two global variables and I'm going to call it mouse uh, mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y and set it equal to zero and zero for now and let's use these two variables so global mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y so I'm going to delete this print and set mouse x equal to x position and mouse y equal to uh, y position. Okay. Now I'm going to create another function and this will be the mouse button callback button call back. Okay, the window object and uh, the button, the action and the mode. Okay, for now I'm going to just pass it and just create here another GLF callback uh, set mouse 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 button callback mouse button callback on the window and mouse button call back okay so now if I press the mouse button let's say I'm going to print out uh, where I pressed it so print mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y
here is the X position of the mouse and the Y position when I clicked. Okay, so delete this line. And now I'm going to read back uh, the pixel data from the mouse position. So with GL read uh, pixels, GL read pixels, the mouse underscore X, the mouse underscore Y. So it's the X and Y position of the mouse. Just give it here one and one. Uh, read it back as G L R G B and as a GL float. Oops, GL float. Okay. So this read pixels function reads back the, from the frame buffer the pixel data. So now I'm going to just print out this data. Every time I click, as you see, I clicked on the green cube and it returns back zero for the red, one for the green and zero for the blue. Now I'm clicking on the red cube, so zero for the red, uh, or one for the red, zero for the green, zero for the blue, and for the blue cube, zero, zero, one. It's print back as this list of list of list, or so list of list, so a multi-dimensional. So I'm going to just create like this. So now it it only just one dimensional list. Now just the background. Yes, the background color. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. So now based on this information, I'm going to create an if statement. So if button button equals glf w dot uh, or equals equals glf w dot mouse button left mouse button left and the action is glf press glfw dot press okay then uh, let's say another if statement so if if data um, yo know, if data zero 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 equals 1.0 then print out red so let me try this out nothing prints or the green nothing prints on the blue but yes it prints out red when I click on the red cube okay so now let's create an elif elif uh, data zero zero and the one is equal to one point zero. Then print out. Uh, Green. Let me just copy this. 
so elif data at position two is equal to one then print out blue and else print out uh, um, bad background so let me see so now if I'm clicking on the background it says background if I'm clicking on the green it says green if I'm clicking on the blue it says blue on the red it says red and this reads back from the default frame buffer so let's do something based on this I'm going to implement something off screen so when I click on an object it will start to rotate and after I implement this that code I'm going to explain it uh, just a small bug when I click to an object so to the red it prints out twice the red twice the green twice the blue twice the background so I just forgot to give it as action equals equals press so for now and now it only prints out once so I'll be back so off screen I implemented this functionality so when I click on a cube it starts to rotate the green the red the blue cube and if you click again it stops rotating if you click on the background nothing happens so I'm gonna explain how it is done so I just created three global variables called it uh, what just happened uh, red rotation green rotation and blue rotation and set their values to false 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 so and in the mouse button callback when I press uh, when I click on the green or, or the on the red I'm just setting the red rotation um, switching it from false to to true and if it's true it switch back to false so it uh, red rot equals not red rot so you can switch from true to false and the same goes for the green rotation and for the blue rotation and in the drawing or in the render loop I'm saying that if red rotation is true then give the vertex shader this I created here a rotation matrix then give the vertex shader this rotation matrix times the model if it's false then just give the model matrix the same goes for the uh, green cube and for the blue cube too and one thing I wanted to talk about I have here another python file uh, here when I click on the green cube its posi posi position changes so let me show you uh, 
So I'm clicking on the red, it just says red, clicking on the blue, just says blue, background, and when I click on the green, it jumps uh, one unit on the y-axis. But as you see, when I click it once again, it says it's background. Although I click on the green cube, it says background. And when I click here down, it says green. So this is because the OpenGL coordinate starts at the lower left. So the, here, here is the zero, zero coordinate. And the screen goes, uh, it's a zero, zero coordinate in the, is in the lower uh, upper left corner. So although we are seeing the green cube here up, but in the frame buffer it is here down. So to solve this, we need to change this mouse y equals y position. I'm gonna comment this out to mouse y equals 720, which is the height of our window, minus the y position. Must be saved, okay. So now if I click and I click once again, it says green and here it says background green. But even better way to do this, just get the width and the height by glfw.getWindowSize uh, window and change this to uh, height minus the y position because if you change the, the window size, um, the 720 will no more work. So. Green, green, background, okay, so it works. So you need to, if you're gonna translate your objects, you need to invert this. Uh, I think that's all what I wanted. In the next video, the drawback of this method is, is it only reads back from the default frame buffer so which means every object on, in, on the screen has to have a unique color in order to work so in the next video i'm going to uh, implement reading back color values from a custom off-screen buffer instead of this default frame buffer so we are going to improve this further. So thank you for watching.